Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Trevor Barron, and welcome back to my Rick and Morty theory. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, you guys could definitely go back and watch that right now. Um, it's pretty essential for this one, because this one's just going to be uh, clearing up some misconceptions and adding a little bit of new evidence. Now, uh, if you still haven't seen the first episode, or not the first episode, the first part, um, it's okay, not really, but... Uh, it's half decent. So basically the theory is that Jerry is Rick or Jerry will, you know, eventually become Rick. Now, firstly, I'd like to debunk the uh, Morty is Rick theory a little bit further because that theory, the people in that theory are sort of divided into two groups. Those who believe that it's achieved through going like to a younger universe like an alternate universe that's younger, um, and therefore he can technically time travel, but not really. Um, or there's also those who think he time travels back into the past. Now, to debunk this, I want to say that uh, in... Oh, I don't know the episode, but... um. In the episode where we're first introduced to the Council of Ricks, there's Doofus Rick. And Doofus Rick doesn't have any kids, and therefore Morty doesn't exist. So I want to destroy that half of the theory. It's not traveling back, so all you people are wrong. Um, because there was no Morty to become Rick. So, yeah. Now... Uh, now I'm going to add a little bit of new evidence. Now, th this is just like a few snit, a little, actually not even a few, just one I have for right now, is that um, Jerry and the daycare of Jerry's could have eventually, or maybe even just the idea of the daycare of Jerry's could have eventually evolved into the Citadel. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, um, actually a lot of people were wondering in my previous video about how Jerry would have gotten this smart, and also incest question mark, and firstly I want to say no, that there's no incest in there because um, it, it'd be like if, if you married someone and then got divorced and then time traveled back to when they were young and raised them. And I mean, it's a bit weird and freaky, but it's not incest. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick right now. But anyway, um, back to the theory. So basically, uh, uh, I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. There's someone like, revving a motorcycle over and over again. But anyway, um, back to the theory, like I just said. Uh, Jerry, one of the, er, okay, I'm gonna list a few of the ways he could have gotten smart. Um, he could have, in season one, episode two, Lawnmower Dog, we see uh, Rick, like, really quickly design this intelligence enhancer for uh, Snuffles and makes him very smart, really quick. And he did this on Jerry's request. So that could have something to do with it. He could uh, find another copy of this or use it or something like that. Um, another way I saw was that in season three, episode eight, there's the, um, oh, I forget what it was called now. I'm not very good at these, but it was the turtle. I think it was the time turtle, but I can't remember. Um, and then after Morty had looked into its eyes, he was completely messed up, and he he said he knew everything. Now, uh, it's not entirely clear what he meant by this, but I'm just going to say he knows everything. Um, and then also in Season 3, Episode 8, we do see uh, something that I think could be a very likely possibility. Um, if 
we, we have seen that Jerry knows about, you know, the hatch and the under, underground basement and things like that. And in season three, episode eight, we saw uh, Rick and Morty go in there and right into this memory erasing chamber. Or not really memory erasing, but rather a memory storage chamber. And it's got in a locked cabinet, but Summer has the key. It's got Mo all of Morty's memories and all of Rick's memories. Now, it seemed pretty open up until that point, so Summer might give Jerry the key, or Jerry might somehow get his mind wiped on accident, and Summer might pull a prank, or probably not a prank, just wonder what would happen and put uh, Rick's memories in him. And that way, he would pretty much be Rick. In a lot of ways, I mean, he'd still be Jerry, but he'd pretty much be Rick. Um, something else this creates is like another pseudo scenario. So, what if um, Rick doesn't know that he used to be a Jerry? Which makes me think that he did get like involved with the memory gun somehow and it like erased his entire personality and we saw that the only ones that uh rick has the only people whose memory they have are rick and morty uh, not jerry so if he was like injected with uh morty's memories or not morty's rick's memories he would pretty much become rick and he would act like him and he would be mean to jerry right um so, yeah, I, I hope I cleared up the incest thing and the intelligence thing. Oh, no, there's another way that he could, uh, or actually another couple of ways that he could gain intelligence. Uh, he could gain intelligence from Doofus Rick by, like, hanging out with him. We haven't seen him hang out with Doofus Rick in a while or learn much from him, but he could do that. Um, and Because Doofus Rick isn't, like, an idiot, he's just a compassionate Rick, so he might each Jerry. I don't see how this could apply to all dimensions of Jerry's, though, because it's only one Rick. Um, yeah. There's one other way, and I think it could be through, like, personal like, experience with uh, Rick, because in Season 3, Episode 8, in the end credits, we do see that Jerry has been on it in, in adventure sort of since uh the divorce involving rick and he's been on that fake adventure so it could be possible he might learn from there i don't think that's a very likely possibility though um and yeah something interesting about the memory things though in, at the very end of season three episode eight when the end credit or the after credit scene uh Jerry's memory helmet looks like a prototype because it seems to be only cassettes, if I'm right. It looks like a cassette tape uh, that he puts in there, or that's already in there. So that could have something to do with it. Maybe his was designed first. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. If you have any suggestions or uh, complaints or like things that could further the theory, leave them down in the comment section. Um, like, subscribe, all that YouTubery stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm <clears throat> I don't sound good. It's not just my recording stuff. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's also, I have cold. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and peace.